What is going on, guys? Happy Sunday. Welcome to pretty much Animation Domination Sunday. I just took that from Fox. I don't care. Uh, welcome to the Midnight Gospel, episode one. We're here. We're alive and alive for a show that could send us down the rabbit hole. You know what I mean? Uh, I've been down the rabbit hole plenty of times in my life through unnatural ways, through natural ways. I mean, it just it's all about perspective, you know what I mean? You think about the world, you think about the possibilities, it's all inside of your mind. And you can create things from the inside of your mind to the outside. You just got to be positive, you just got to be a good person. No, I'm kidding. That's a little ridiculous. Nonetheless, I'm here. I don't want to get too like spiritual and deep, but this show might get us down that track. I'm excited. I love trippy things. I love uh, drugs, I guess. I love like, you know, marijuana, legal. I love, you know, psychedelics, depending on the kind. You know, there's things like LSD, which are which I don't do anymore, personally, just to be upfront, I don't do LSD anymore, I just, it was too much, and I might have done a little too much, and uh, I don't do it. Uh, shrooms, on the other hand, though, shrooms are very good for the psyche, for the mind, they can really just help you let go, and that's a good thing, and maybe that's what these shows, that's what these shows are for me, they help me let go from reality, and that's what they are for a lot of people. A lot of shows are just to escape reality, which is a sad thing because reality is great besides the fact that we live in a tyrannical, you know, n- tyrannical, you know. Some people are going to be like, you're in America, this is the land of the free. It's like, no, it's not. You're stupid. Nonetheless, the Midnight Gospel, and I'm excited to watch this. I've heard good things. I know Duncan Truscal's in it, and I love Duncan Truscal. I do not like Joe Rogan anymore. Um, he's grift. He's a hardcore grifter. But I do like Duncan. Duncan has always been very out there, but I respect him because he's been out there and he's done a lot, and that's his perspective, and I respect it a lot. And um, I'm just excited to see what this goes. Netflix, I mean, the inside job is cool. Um, it's not like the, the greatest thing in the world, but it is cool. I enjoy it. This, on the other hand, if it's trippy, it's got some deep subjects, funny, I'm excited to get into it. So, yeah. Animation Sunday, let's get into it in three, two, one, click. That's a classic sound. A lot of people have sampled that. This is the Pyro Moth keeping you warm on the ribbon and cool in your heart. Here's a little melody from the old Cuddle Cats. The Cuddle Cats. Let me up, let me down, but don't let me in. Don't let me in. Whoa. It's a trippy ass world. Avoidable operator error. All beings on this earth have been destroyed. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Deleting Earth. Deleting Earth! No! Earth 4169, due to yet another operator error, is undergoing a zombie apocalypse. You poppy. Beach body. Beach body selected. Merging with simulator in three, two, one. Free the weed! Free the weed while a zombie apocalypse is happening. Sure. Okay, great. You were saying, oh yeah, I read a recent study that said medical marijuana was associated with close to 30% fewer deaths. It's, it's actually, it's actually more data is coming through that. What's the data? The data is, if there's a lot of, if there's available recreational pot, opiate use is way down. Oh, so, so it is helping. Benzodiazepines and the sleeping medicine, A, kills. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But when patients die of drug use, that's how they die today. Yep. B, perpetuates their pain. But some people work just fine. For one Hey, I've been making videos all day. I'm working just fine. Uh, Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, 
you it seems like the uh, nicest president I've ever you seen. Are all these parts of myself that I don't necessarily want to deal with right now. Yep. And that can create a lot of positive change for people. Now, not all the time. A lot of times, I definitely man, I've got to work on this. I need. Why am I not exercising? I need yep. to exercise more. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Why am I? I'm drinking a little too much right now. I need to slow down drinking. That also. This is just Duncan Truscoll just talking about his life. From him. I don't even know why I would want to, why I would do that. I'm well aware of the fact that you should never, ever, ever in a million years take benzos and drink. Hell and no. what kills everybody. This is the death combo. Oh, yeah, it is. So I did it, and I remember... One I, of the death combos. One of the death combos. Out there. I think <laughs> one pill to nature, and then it's the relationship that humans have with the substance mm -hmm. that is the issue. Yep. So and smart. what our individual biology is, and what it triggers, and whatnot. That's the problem. Like, Valley just drinking absinthe and then partying and about to drive home really bad. That was cool. That little baggie. No, thank you, sir. Not because Valley is good or bad, because the circumstance and the relationship is sometimes it can just be a little slide. Uh, and it goes down the wrong tube, gets into your lungs, and all uh, the bacteria that's in your mouth goes into your lungs where it don't belong. You set up a pneumonia, become septic, you go into shock, and you die in about uh, 30 minutes, 50, oh, 60 minutes. It can happen fast. Oh, uh, that's terrifying. That's the thing of nature. Oh my god. The fuck is that? Alright, look, we're gonna have to initiate off protocol. Ooh. Onward, Charlotte. Nice. <laughs> Good luck, sir. It's been a privilege to serve her to you. No. <laughs> And what's interesting to me, I'm clarifying our sort of... He just doesn't give a fuck change. what's going on. I'm thinking about that or he'd go darker. And we don't know. Energy. That's true. It's the or that always moves. We better get out of here. For sure. <laughs> it was there, and then the elevator, the thing dings, the door's shut. It comes back down, and suddenly you're screaming at people in traffic again. Yeah. So, that, so that, that's an analogy for what hallucinogens do. And yeah. And it's, and it's a great really analogy. Mind. I've seen the top of the mouth, and I think that, uh, that there's the independent value. Oh, holy shit! Die, die, die! Oh, thank you! <laughs> oh no, I think that's my aunt. Oh my god, I'm all. Oh my god, I'm all. Beaming <laughs> alone in my apartment, breaking my fritter in, in just a rage. I'm cured. Yeah, I'm cured. What the fuck? Get in. <laughs> Get in. Get in. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's Rick. It's Rick and Lori. No. Damn zombies. What happens if we don't turn No. Um, the very simple observation of the way any emotional state <laughs> or thought consciousness. And so the, the idea that I am alone or the idea that I am an individual is actually, interestingly enough, you're already Baby's honest. already walking. It's, it's a distortion. Because you're the thing and the observer simultaneously meeting together, and that's what creates the illusion of self. I mean, if the universe was a dolphin, then basically our bodies would be a, a fishing net. We're all kind of entangled in ourselves. You feel shit like that when you're high on acid? Yes, you do. Uh, oh shit, the internet went out. My internet died, guys. I don't know what happened. That shit just turned off. Oh, finally. Finally, my internet's back. Holy shit, dude. About fucking time. All right, let's, um... Okay, so none of you saw that, but my, my internet has been out for the last, like, 30 minutes. 
It's been geeking, dying. I don't know. It's been pissing me off, but we're finally back. Let's continue the Midnight Gospel in three, two, one. Whoa. This feels really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my God. God. I'm, I'm in love with it. it. I'm in love with it. It's it feels good to be a zombie. Now I see there's nothing to get in and nothing to get out of. Hey, it's Joey. I didn't realize that was Joey Diaz. Oh my god. Great denizens of the multiverse for listening to Midnight Gospel. And to my one subscriber, Ernok Jensen, I live for you. You're the reason I wake up in the morning with a smile on my face. So keep listening, Ernok. I'll see you in your dreams. Okay, that was fun. That was fun. That was a cool um just trip. I mean, that was that was enjoyable. I mean, they were just literally going through a zombie apocalypse talking about pretty much everything, you know. And the president was some small ass dude who is a big fan of drugs. And I love the I love the there is no bag drug. It's the concert or it's the uh it's the, 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 oh, fuck, what did he say? It's the, uh, it's the circumstances, yes. I love that. I love that. And it's true. I mean, there's really no bad drug, because if you, even if you use any drug, it probably, it depends. Fentanyl, obviously not. But, like, in other drugs that are literally deadly. But it's the circumstances, like, if it's a natural drug, it's a natural drug, and it's there to be there, even if it's deadly or not. There's a purpose for that, and, you know, drugs, especially hallucinogenics and, psych, you know, psychedelics, they can really open your mind. They really can, and it's very true, and they can really open your mind, but uh, there's also a certain point where you can become delusional from those said drugs, which does suck, because things like acid or even, like, K2 or, you know salvia whatever like you can overdo the drug so much that you become delusional and paranoid over the stupidest little things like the people who believe in like QAnon shit and all like that it's like they took so much acid that they believe in these fairy tale stupid ass conspiracies because they think it's cool and they think it sounds legit because they were high one night like dude oh my god like Bro, it's all connected. They know everything, which is true. But it's like, oh, the Democrats, they they suck babies and they're reptilians. And that, that sounds so cool to be true. And I think it is true, but it's not. It's so stupid. It's such a, a parody of what actually is going on. And what actually is going on is, you know capitalism you know these rich old fucks become greedy and just horrible people for their own gain for their own gain and they they blackmail and they they hide things and they lie and they deceive create narratives and agendas for their own good when it comes to money and power because money creates power and greed and it's it's a disgusting thing it is and it sucks that it's like that it really does um and it, I, I feel like that because there's a part of me that doesn't ever want to get rich because I don't want to fall into that mindset of, holy shit, I can do whatever. I have power. I know everybody's beneath me. Everybody's below me. I don't want to fall into that. I want like if I ever do become rich and I'm in a place where I don't have to worry about food, paying something off, if if I'm going to be broke in the next few days. Like, I, if I ever get to a point where I don't have to worry about any of that, I don't want to become this greedy, rich, elitist asshole and classist asshole. I don't want to do that. I want to give and I want to help people and I want to help people reach their full potential to what they can achieve. It's not like I'm going to make this person work so much that they just give up. I, I want them to do what they can and with what they're given with to their full extent. To what they can accomplish. Because there's certain people. They can't do certain things. And of course you can teach them. But there's no reason to teach somebody. Like. 
in a hurtful, demeaning way. Like if somebody can't do a certain thing, they <clears throat> they can't do it. They can't do it, but they can give their full effort if they try. Obviously, and it may not work out, but at least they tried. You know what I mean? At least they tried into you know, bettering themselves or helping the community or you know whatever it may be. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of you know possibilities when it comes to that, and you know. We need things like janitors. We need things like trash people. We need... There's certain necessities in life that we need. Like people... Like electricians and the, all those trades. Like We need those people. Pay them well. We need teachers. Pay them well. Pay them more than a fucking doctor. They're teaching the, the future generation. And seeing them being, you know... Belittled. And not cared for. And thinking they're... Like, like a lot of people think teachers are woke and they're like trying to teach this false narrative that that racist is or not America's racist and it's always been it was found on black bad people, which they don't believe in. But it is true. America is inherently racist at the end of the day. I mean, the founding fathers owned slaves were for slaves. They didn't care about women's rights. I, I, I mean, obviously, there's multiple. There's people who care to people who don't want that, and they're pushing their what they their beliefs on what they want. And we're seeing that now in real life. We have these fucking rich Christian overzealot fucking assholes who are trying to push their own ideologies and beliefs onto people who may not believe that, like me, like people who like the Supreme Court or overturn Roe v. Wade like they're taking rights away from people and then you're gonna have those people come over like they're just giving it back to the states it's literally the same exact argument if you're saying like no the Civil War wasn't fought over slaves it was fought over states rights this is the exact same thing and you sound like a fucking incoherent asshole and, and you know nothing most of the people who who think America is great did not pay attention into school and that is also the public system's fault because they can also skew things and make america's better than what it is i went through it um and i believed america was great at one point and now no america has never been great america has never been great ever maybe for rich people maybe for wi rich white people maybe yeah um sorry i just went down that whole fucking tangent about a show about you know psychedelics and opening your mind and helping yourself meditate and being aware of your surroundings, um, which I think is a is great. I love I I, I love this. It's it's just Duncan talking to people with whatever animation and the uh, animators dis uh, decided to put up. I think it's cool. It's a cool idea. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I'm excited to get into this every Sunday for Animation Sunday Domination. It's going to be fun. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please like, favorite, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and we'll see you tomorrow on Monday. Goodbye!